Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Carnaggio, Director of Women's Ministry. What a joy it's been praying through the Psalms as a church family. To go from frustrating isolation, feeling stuck and separated, to now being pulled back together by way of the Psalms, knit back together through His Word and by His Spirit, it's powerful and just very needed. Well, this morning I have the privilege of introducing our next Psalm, Psalm 34, a Psalm that David wrote during a very low point in his life. He was being hunted by an angry and jealous King Saul. He was scared, he felt alone, and he was struggling to trust God. Many of us can likely identify with how David was feeling, and we may expect this Psalm then to be one of lament or confession, but it's actually a beautiful poem about God's goodness. Even in his distress, David declares, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. It's almost as if he's fighting his fear with praise and thanksgiving, and by remembering what God has done for him. Instead of focusing on his circumstances, he focuses on what he knows to be true of God's character. He gives testimony to how he cried out to the Lord and the Lord heard him, protected him, and delivered him. How God drew near to him right into the heart of his suffering and brokenness. And in response to this, David encourages us to trust God's goodness. He invites us to taste and see that the Lord is good. He doesn't just want us to observe God's goodness, but rather experience it personally for ourselves. You know, it's one thing to smell the hot bread as it comes out of the oven, and it's another thing to taste it and consume it and experience it with all your senses. And that's how David desires us to experience God as fully as possible. And when we experience God's goodness personally, it changes us. We begin to desire more of Him and less of the world. We seek more peace and pursue less evil. So may we join David in praise and thanksgiving, and may we taste and see God's goodness and exalt His name together.